So on this channel, we take a look at a lot of golf tech, but this one is a very special one that I've been waiting for for a long time. My Series 66 putter from Sax Parente just arrived. We're also gonna be chatting with the co-founder of Sax Parente, Steve Sax himself, to find out all about what goes into the making of this putter, the technology inside, and how it can help your game. If you're ready, let's go unbox it. So the first time I came across Sax Parente was actually last February at the PGA show when Patrick came up to me and said, Gabe, you've got to look at these putters. Now we were testing everything that day from the new Maverick drivers to the new Mizuno irons to the Wilson staff blades and everything in between and nothing wowed him like Sax Parente and their putters. So the Series 66 putter has arrived in my office and finally we get to unbox it and get to put it in our bag for a little while and see how this thing performs. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside. Oh, it's like Christmas morning. All right, I'm gonna give you guys the first glimpse of this thing. Let's open it up. Woo, there we go. The first thing you see here is that this is actually a graphite shafted putter, which is really intriguing now. I'll ask Steve about this here in a little bit, but I'm guessing that that has to do with the balance and getting more weight to the face. They claim that there's more weight placed on the face of this putter to get a better trajectory off of the putt. So what else is inside of this box? You've got a beautiful Sax Parente head cover. I really like their color scheme here, by the way. You've got sort of this gold and black going, so a nice, nice magnetic, actually, putter cover. That's beautiful. We've got a little ball marker that came with it, and we've got a nice little story. So talk about packaging. I mean, that is really special, but when you buy something like this that costs a premium price, you expect quality, but this really goes above and beyond for sure. So this is actually a little story from the founders here. It actually says, congratulations, you're the proud owner of a Sax Parente putter, the most advanced putting instrument ever made. A very bold claim. So we're gonna take this out to the putting greens and see if it really can live up to that. But I know for a fact, I enjoyed looking at this one at the PGA show. I just can't wait to try this one out that's been customized for me. So it gives you some instructions. You've got some signatures from the founder there, Steve Sachs and Richard Parente, co-founders of Sachs Parente. And that's a really, really nice little touch. And I love this ball marker. I mean, that's pretty cool. The only thing other than that left in the box is a packing slip. But look at, take a look at that thing. That is really cool. All right, so it says, caution, do not lean or place body weight on this putter because it's graphite. Featherweight shafts are not designed to hold body weight. So there you go. You've got three colors going on. You've got the brass finish. You've got that black and that nice silver color. Just a, just a beautiful presentation. Sax Parente logo on the side. Let's check the balance point of this putter. We'll see where this thing balances. Wow, take a look at that. That is pretty cool. So basically what this is telling me is you've got a very light construction. We have a light grip, a light graphite shaft, and all that weight is moved to the putter face, which is going to allow for a straighter, tighter trajectory once it strikes the ball. That is pretty impressive. Try that with your putter, by the way. See where it balances. In fact, I've got another putter behind me. I've got two putters behind me. We can try this out. So this is a ping. This is a ping. Let's find the balance point of my ping here. Kind of the old ping zing. There you go. That's where the ping balance is. So you saw that that was a much, a much different weight there. Very, very, very cool. All right, without further ado, we're gonna get Steve Sachs, co-founder of Sachs Parente, on the line here to actually talk about the technology that's inside. And then after that, we're gonna take it out onto the course and roll some putts. Here we go. The first few things that I'd say struck me was you've, you're using a graphite shaft. I've never seen that, I don't think, in a putter right. before. So tell me why you're using graphite there. Well, that's ultra low balance point technology. We've taken all the weight out of the shaft and grip. If you were to hold, if you were to take that shaft and grip out of your putter and put it in your hands, yeah, it's going to balance about, that's about four inches. Three yeah, and a half. That's, a, that's incredible. I actually tried it with my ping, by the way, um, just like you said, the old. Eight and a uh, half, nine inches, right? Yeah, uh, ping was about here. Yeah, and, I just yeah, did one. I looked at an old ping, which is actually a better performing putter than I think the new ping, in my opinion. <laughs> but the, uh, the old answer balanced at eight, 8.75 inches. Wow, yeah. And uh, 
So for, okay. for non-technical people, how does that translate into, you know, a better stroke or better control of the ball? All that weight really gives you what's a true pendulum. And pendulums are great because the only way they go offline is if you make it go offline. If you start it in a direction, it'll just keep going back and forth forever, you know, until it finally runs out of energy. And, and you know, pendulums are always, you know, super light between the anchor point and, and the weight at the bottom. And, and um, that's the, the, really the original premise of this. Make it take all that weight that doesn't do anything out and let the weight that's there do, do everything it can. So the head is not super heavy. It's a standard weight head. But all the weight's been taken out of the shaft and grip. So it wants to swing, it wants to release, and it wants to square up. And those are that's really just the laws of physics. But we've also tried as much as possible to move the weight forward. It gives you what, what I consider a more efficient moment of inertia, which is our third technology, super high moment of inertia in every butter. But by moving the weight forward, and, and to get a super high MOI, it's harder to do. You have to use more tungsten, you have to think about how you place your weight, but weight forward makes a big difference in how the ball rolls. So when you combine the three of our technologies, ultra low balance point, weight forward, and super high MOI, we know we're giving you the best possible putter. You're gonna get the most performance out of it. It's gonna release, it's gonna stay square. The only way you're gonna hit it offline is you're either aiming it offline or you've, you've done something with your hands to do it. But if you can just trust the feel of this putter, which feels different than anything you'll ever putt with, you'll become a better putter. It's I will say it does, you're right that. about it feeling different. It it's almost has a sweet spot too, because I rolled a couple here in my office this morning mm -hmm. when, I, when I unopened the box. And uh, man, it's it just, it, it kind of, it's hard to say, but like when you hit a, uh, like a home run in baseball, it's like that same feeling off the bat. Right. Like, it, or if you really crush a drive, there's just a nice kind of, almost a little extension of your hands in the, into the ball. It's pretty right. cool. It, that's a, you know, I think that's what people refer to as a, you know, the feel of butter where you just, kind of went through it and didn't feel anything. We, we're really, really good feeling putters, but they're different. You're gonna feel the head for the first time. If you pick up all these other putters out there, all you feel is shaft and grip. You know, and, and, you're, and you're, kind, you're trying to control the head with your hands, but, you, but you're doing it by holding onto it and controlling the shaft and grip, because you can't feel anything else. So if our putter, you pick it up, it's a standard weight head, but with all that weight gone out of the middle, all you feel is the club head, and it makes it so much easier to control it. You learn to trust it. You learn to let it, your hands release. Uh, like I said, it's, it wants to square up, and it wants to do, return to wherever you started it at. So if you start it online, it's going to stay online. And, and that's the secret. You just got to get it squared and let it go. All right, so you saw me just take about a five footer. I made two out of three of those. Felt amazing. <laughs> it's just like an extension of your hand. You don't even feel it when the ball hits the face of this thing, when you hit it in the sweet spot. It's beautiful. Let's try a 10 footer. All right, I had a lot of near misses there, but it's definitely not the putter. Every time I aimed this putt, and I struck it exactly where I wanted to every single time, the exact same line that I was on. It's only the person putting, not the putter, that any of those missed. I'm gonna go do a lag putt and see how she feels from about 30 foot lag. All right, what I'd say about that is you saw my first putt, I really hit hard because it doesn't take a huge swing. You just gotta be nice and smooth with your stroke 
and that thing's gonna put it right on line. That is extremely impressive. I didn't feel like I had to really crush it. Even though these greens are running really slow, I didn't have to crush it in order to get it up here. Man, I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with this. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for my review of the Sax Parente. This is one heck of a putter, guys. Is it worth $600 and put it in your bag? Absolutely. freaking lutely I think you're gonna take more shots with a putter throughout the round. Why spend so much money on a driver? Invest in a putter like this one. Again, they did not pay me to say this, but I truly believe this is the best feeling putter that I've ever, ever tried. I can't wait to see if there's something else down the pike for Sax Parente, something that can beat this even. But so far, the Series 66 is a winner. Hey, make sure to hit subscribe so you can get more of these golf reviews. I am doing golf tech reviews each and every week on this channel. Would love it if you subscribed and came back to join us. I'll catch you back here next week on another edition of Let's Play Through.